level 50 or level 40 shadow Pokemon? Which is stronger? Well, we will find that out together in this video. So hi, hi to all of you guys. So before I even show you guys my screen, well, you guys can see that it's a bit dark around me, right? And it's time to turn on the light. So, aha, uh -huh. you guys can see me much better, right? Because I bought new lightings and uh, yeah, looks like uh, this is way better than the previous uh, lighting that I had, with, which was just my portable light. So anyway, let's go ahead to bring my screen up right now and yeah, let's go ahead to see what we have installed to actually um, use to do the test, man, okay? And uh, we're gonna type test and these are the two Pokemon that I'm gonna use to do the test. First of all, it's my level 50, non-shadow, maxed out, Hundo, Metagross, all right, with Bullet Punch and Meteor Mesh. And the second one will be a Shadow Pokemon that actually is level 40 with also Bullet Punch, Meteor Mesh, Shadow Metagross, all right, which has the IVs of, you know, 15, 15, 14. Let's take it as if it is a Hundo already, right, because the attack technically is the same as uh, the um, non-Shadow one in terms of IVs, but yeah, this is level 40. You guys can see that the power up, you know, I still need a total of 200 and not 200, 360 XL candies to power up to level 50. All right, that means it is level 40. That's the proof for you guys to see. And we're gonna see how long it takes to take down, you know, a few Pokemon. Oh my God, I, I was supposed to take down a Kling. The Kling disappeared, hang on. Let me, um, let me <laughs> um, config, uh, recalibrate my GPS and then my character will move there. There's a Kling that's despawning, hang on. Okay, not, 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 not this late Leo, hang on. All right, and the cling just appeared. I just went to um, off and on my location. Okay, that cling with two minutes left to despawn. Okay, and we're gonna do a private lobby. We're gonna use the level 50 Metagross first. Okay, so here we go. I actually wanted to do this test on, you know, a tier three raid boss, but I realized that, hey, I only have one level 50 Metagross. And if I were to find any tier three raid boss, I would have to re-lobby or I need a second Metagross and I don't have that. Of course, if I were to use the Shadow Metagross, that will also be the same. I need to, you know, re-lobby or either that I need to also have a second level 40 Shadow Metagross, which I have. You know, the problem is not having a level 50 non-Shadow Metagross because I only want to power up one for Mega Metagross, nothing else. I'll rather use my Candy XL on the Shadow Metagross. So enough of all that, I'm going to also put my Mewtwo as my buddy Pokemon to clock the interaction. Of course, I'm not going to use all the way to even uh, past the Metagross since we are fighting a tier 1 raid boss now instead of a tier 3 raid boss. Okay, so let's go ahead to jump straight into the battle, okay? And here we go in 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, and the battle is going to start. So I'm only going to use, you know, Meteor Mesh, although it is better to use Earthquake because it will do super effective damage to, you know, the Kling. But if we want to get this test done properly, we need to use the same fast and charge move. And of course, you know, um, I'm not going to second fast move my uh, Shadow Metagross for now. So I'm going to use just uh, Meteor Mesh. And of course, to take down the Red Boss slightly slower, it will actually give a more accurate uh, data because um, if the time is too short, there won't be enough of, uh, you know, leeway or difference in terms of the time when you actually um, use something that actually take down the red boss really quickly. So anyway, the cling is down. And to be very honest with you guys, I have not even done the calculation in terms of whether a level 50 non-shadow, you know, Metagross is better than a level, 50, level 40 shadow Metagross or not. Really, I, I really do not know, but we will find that out together. So anyway, we took down the cling in 30 seconds, alright? This is the timing that you want to see, 30 seconds, because that's when the battle actually starts and not the timing on the top. This is a more accurate uh, figure, 30 seconds. Alright, we're going to catch the cling. The Hundo CP is 546. It's not a Hundo, neither is it a Shiny. We're just going to catch it as per normal. Okay, and we're going to jump straight to the part where I enter the red lobby and, of course, use the Shadow Metagross. Alright guys, and the cling is caught, let's go ahead to tap on the other cling with 6 minutes left to despawn. I hope both of them actually have the same fast and charge move, though it wouldn't make that big of a difference even if one, you know, has like uh, something that res uh, does resisted damage to the Metagross, it's totally fine. 
Okay, so let's go ahead into the next one. We're gonna use the test again. All right, so remember the first one was 30 seconds. I did not um, write that down. Uh, neither did I um, put that on my Metal Gross, which is what I normally would do, but it's okay, no worries. 30 seconds, very easy number to remember, guys. Okay, and we're gonna jump straight into the battle part again. Here we go again in three, two, one, zero. So the Shadow Metagross is out, alright, with also Bullet Punch and Meteor Mash. I, I'm i a little bit confident that the Shadow Metagross will win, man. I mean, uh, I mean, though the, you know, Metagross is level 50, but the Shadow Metagross is just too sick in terms of DPS. So I think this would win, alright? I, I, I might be wrong, I hope I'm right though. I mean, this has Zap Cannon, alright? So technically, I'm charging a bit more energy, but from the speed of the health going down, I think this is way stronger, man. Okay, so we took down the cling. Let's see that. Okay, the timing is still continuing on the top, but like I said, we need to see the timing from over there. Okay, so remember the first one was 30 seconds. This one is... 28 seconds What does this tell us guys? Okay, what does this tell us? Well, not shiny, not a hundo So let me go ahead to jump to my Pokemon storage and show you guys the timing and uh, we compare it from over there It'll be much better, okay? Uh, okay, cling stay in the ball Okay, great, the cling stayed in the ball and we can finally go ahead to do this. Alright, so the first Meteor Mesh, I mean Metagross, took 30 seconds, right? And then the second Metagross took 28 seconds. So, was it a fair test? I would think so. But first things first, let's take a look at the health. You guys can see that this Metagross, alright, it went down with, by 20 health and the other one went down by like around almost 50 HP. But uh, of course the moves for the um, Kling were different. I would think that if the second Kling did not have, you know, Zed Cannon, I wouldn't be able to charge up that much energy for another Meteor Mesh. But that being said, I mean, in terms of DPS wise, I feel the Shadow Metagross still beats the uh, level 50 non-Shadow Metagross. Yeah, you guys can go ahead and test it for yourself, man, because uh, from my understanding, even Shadow Metagross beats like Mega Metagross, but of course that's assuming both of them are at the same level. But right now we are comparing a level 50, you know, non-shadow Pokemon versus a level 40 shadow Pokemon. So that is a very big difference really. I mean, if you need to invest 296 candy XL, but yet still lose to something that does not even require a single XL candy at all, that tells a lot about this particular Pokemon, Shadow Metagross or Shadow Pokemon. They are basically stronger than the, you know, XL form of the non-Shadow Pokemon. So much so that you save 250,000 Stardust, you save 296 Candy XL and of course, um, you technically don't really need to bother too much about the IVs or so because Shadow Pokemon, especially Shadow Metagross, they're just way, way, way too strong. So um, that is why, you know, I also, um, you know, would rather invest in uh, Shadow Metagross. That's why I have a total of six. All pumped up to level 40, you know, and I want to get all of them to level 50. Then even to uh, work on even, let, let's say, let's say I have six Hundo non-Shadow Metagross. I wouldn't even touch them anymore because I will only just power up one for Mega Metagross to actually uh, boost the Shadow Metagross uh, for my partners or my friends in the in the bar, in the battle then for me to power up six um, non-shadow metagross yeah similarly for other pokemon such as mewtwo where there is shadow mewtwo and when there is a non-shadow mewtwo i have told auntie gladys who have actually gotten herself 11 hando mewtwo's non-shadow 11 yeah 11 so far i've only gotten two but she was really lucky to get 11 in the last uh, time when mewtwo came back i think she got like 10 yeah seriously when she got 10 i was laughing when she got her number 11 i was laughing my head off like literally i was asking her like i think that is what you're gonna do with your hundo mewtwo she's like uh not gonna power up then what are you gonna do with it and the problem is she's not gonna transfer it to get xl candy but my point to her was that 
Well, we only technically need two Mewtwo's, one for X, one for Y because you need different movesets. And you will rather power up the Shadow Mewtwo's because they are way stronger. Similarly for, you know, the Metagross, I would rather power up Shadow Metagross than power up the non-Shadow Metagross. And this proves it, like, totally proves it. Okay, although it's two seconds difference, but imagine if my Shadow Metagross is level 50. I think it would have been like 25 seconds or 24 seconds. And if you think about it in terms of seconds, like say, say it took down in 25 seconds, it's just 5 seconds difference, right? It's not that big of a deal. Think in terms of percentage, that's a lot. Alright, so I think that is all that I have to show to you guys in terms of uh, showing you guys how, you know, a level 50 non-shadow Pokemon would compare with a level 40 shadow Pokemon. It's a big difference. And of course, you really want to invest in the right Pokemon and not something that you will say, hey, crap, I should have invested in a shadow Pokemon instead of, you know, a non-shadow Pokemon. I know a lot of you guys will be feeling that. My IVs, the IVs of the Shadow Pokemon ain't too good. It is not a hundo, 90 is it, above 90% and you would rather invest in your, you know, non-shadow hundo Pokemon. Well, I made a video talking about the Houndoom. I showed my zero IV Shadow Houndoom level 40 versus a level 40 hundo non-shadow Houndoom. And the zero IV Shadow Houndoom won. So, um... IV doesn't really matter when it comes to um, Shadow Pokemon. They are strong as long as they don't have negative IVs, okay? So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching now. See you guys in the next episode in the next video, alright? And also let me know how's the lighting. Is it good? Is it strong? Is it not too good? I don't know. I mean, I'm still testing things out and uh, hopefully I can make more improvements for you guys to have a better, you know, view of my videos. Alright, thank you very much for the feedback also. With that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Did I say that already? Maybe I did. Alright, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye!